Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video, we're looking at a print of my photograph made at Driftwood Beach on Hanamula's William Turner watercolor paper. Now, I recently printed two large prints for a client on Hanamula Fine Art Barita, which is my go-to paper. Only one of them I accidentally ordered from my print shop on the wrong paper, if you can believe that. Imagine my surprise when I opened the package and saw rather than Fine Art Barita, I had printed on William Turner. It was an expensive faux pas, but in my previous Hanamula paper videos, there was a lot of interest in William Turner, so I thought it might be a great opportunity to show close up and in detail how a nice large print looks on William Turner's surface. I loved William Turner and my smaller test prints that I showed in previous paper comparison videos, but this is the first time I've printed on it this large. This is a 20 by 30 inch print, and I plan to just pan around it slowly and let you see how the details and the tonalities rendered on this paper. I shot this photograph with a Sony A7R2 on the beach at a Disto Island near Charleston, South Carolina. I used a Canon EF 70 to 200 millimeter lens adapted to fit the Sony. One of the great things about matte and textured paper is you can sign it with pencil. Now for a comparison, I'll give you a quick look at the other print from this order, which I had printed on the Hanamula Fine Art Barita as I intended to do. This one's also 20 by 30 inches. This is an older image shot several years ago on the beach at Ship Island, about 20 miles off the coast of Mississippi in the Gulf of Mexico. I shot this on my Canon 5D Mark III. Signed with pen.
Here you can get an idea of the gloss and of the paper's bright surface with the texture beneath. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this was helpful, especially if you're curious about either of these two papers. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.